Hey everybody, my name is Matt. Right now we're gonna go through how to start a proposal in energy tool base. So at this point, you've created a lead. We have all of our lead information here. At this point, we've created multiple meters and we've also have data uploaded into each meter. And now it's time to start the proposal. So first things first, we wanna click add proposal. And now you're gonna be presented with this little modal. It's gonna ask you proposal name. Okay, and now it's gonna ask you proposal configuration. Okay, so what is proposal configuration? Proposal configuration, think of it as a jumping off point that you can start a proposal. So once you build a proposal, you can actually create your own configuration. So if you see common trends with certain projects, you can start off with the same quantity of solar, start off with the same energy storage system or a specific financial model or a specific document. So it's just a default um, to how you wanna start a proposal and you can create your own. Okay, so here I have a couple of my own proposal configurations. We also have energy tool-based configurations that give you a starting off point. So that being said, if you have any other questions on proposal configurations, okay, just reach out to your account manager. We'd be happy to dive in. Uh, also reach out to your onboarding manager if you are a new user. So I'm gonna click continue and we're gonna start creating our proposal. So now that we're in our proposal, okay, the first thing that we wanna do is go over general information. Looking at general information, we see that there's a few inputs here. We have our proposal name and we titled this test proposal and you can change this here if you need to. We have a proposal date. This is the date that you would actually maybe present this project on. This is the date that will show up on a finalized document. So let's just say that we're gonna present on Friday. We have a tax treatment option. So this effectively means how do you wanna present the financials, either a before tax or after tax. Before tax basically means that we will not be taxing any sort of cash inflow or cash outflow or incentives or bill savings uh, whatsoever. After tax, means that we will apply your customer's federal and regional or state income tax rate to cash inflows, cash outflows, incentives, you know, electric bill savings, uh, wherever may be applicable. Uh, so if you're doing after tax, it is very important that you define your federal income tax rate and your state tax rate uh, appropriately. If you're an international user, um, use your best judgment and put in whichever tax is applicable, generally it'd be a uh, federal income tax rate um, that you might consider putting in there, but it might not truly matter internationally. So um, you might just check with a qualified tax professional in your area. We also have currency symbol. So if you are working internationally, you can put in a symbol, uh, just copy paste that right in, and you can represent um, the rate tariff and your bill savings with the correct currency. Under sector, we have a lot of different sectors to choose from, residential, commercial, municipal, nonprofit. You can choose whether any of these sectors are taxable or non-taxable, okay? So it just goes into defining some basic parameters of how you wanna present your document. Um, so federal income tax rate, state, discount rate. This number right here relates to the net present value. Effectively, it discounts all future cash flows to zero. So in short, the higher this discount rate is, the lower the net present value will be. Uh, the assumption is that the inflation rate of currency may be going up high and therefore the value of your investment as made today would be a little bit less, okay? A lower discount rate would effectively increase your net present value. Then we have electricity cost escalation. Electricity cost escalation, Pretty straightforward. This is going to be the rate at which your specific utility is increasing their electric costs on an annual basis. Okay, when, after we've defined all of these, we want to hit save. And now we've just finished up our general information. If you have any questions on any of this, please reach out to your account manager or your onboarding manager. My name is Matt. Guys, thank you so much and have a great day.